We're going to start off with a look at the radar of of Hurricane Sally and Sally is basically now uh, still offshore. It is almost stalled. It is moving only at three miles per hour. Now it continues to bring in rounds of heavy rainfall along these uh, bands that you see. And some of these, of course, are capable of producing tornadoes as well. So right now the impact certainly being felt along the Florida Panhandle and coastal areas of Alabama and Mobile, Alabama. These areas are going to see significant rainfall as we continue on for the rest of today through tomorrow and Sally has certainly slowed down. In fact, now at two miles per hour moving towards the west northwest. It's starting to slow down because eventually it's going to make that turn towards the north and the northeast direction. It's also hitting a cold front. That's the reason why it's moving so slow. Here are those uh, warnings out there. Hurricane warnings and tropical storm warnings extending from Louisiana out to the panhandle. If we look at the forecast cone threat area. It does uh, look like Hurricane Sally will make landfall tomorrow as a category one hurricane, eventually downgrading to remnant low as we head into the weekend, but it's going to bring plenty of rainfall across these areas where ready flash flood watches are in effect. A look at the rest of the tropics. It is very active and uh, basically we have another wave that has a high chance for development. The next name will be Wilfred.